Welcome everyone, Camille Steiner. I live in the Chicago land area and I'm so excited to be able to introduce you to the world of Usborne Books and More. Maybe you've never heard of Usborne before, and if so, you're in for a real treat. Um, but just so you know, in the publishing circles and around the world, Usborne is very popular. In fact, if you went to Europe and just said the name Usborne anywhere, it would be um, as well known as maybe in our country as a publisher like um, Scholastic is. They are very popular. They have been winning many awards, and I hope that uh, watching a few videos to learn about the books and stuff like that will show you um, and give you an appreciation for how amazing these books are and show you why they're winning those awards. But uh, just to, before I get started, I just want to say that we really are um, underrepresented here in the United States. So if doing anything like this might appeal to you, definitely ask me questions or message me for some more information. Would love to share that with you and would love to have you join us. So to get started, I want to tell you about the That's Not My series. This is hands down the most popular That's Not My or Touchy Feely series in the world. There are so many different subjects to choose from, from puppies to owls is the newest one, trains, tractors, fairies, princesses, lions, monkeys, and everything in between. And I love these books because they have a touchy-feely patch that goes along with a descriptive word on each page. That's not my puppy, its coat is too hairy. And so after several pages of the negative, that isn't my puppy because his ears are too shaggy, for example. Love the challenging vocabulary this gives for babies and toddlers. To the last page shows that is my puppy because his nose is so squashy. Um, you can see bright color contrast on the pages, little white mouse to find on every page too. Um, but these are great and really engage kids, you know, with with the bright colors and the black borders and everything as young as even three months old. Uh, one of my daughter's favorites, uh, when she was a young um, uh, toddler, I guess, is the um, Animal Hide and Seek. It is an early book in the collection of stories we have called the Farmyard Tales. These were all illustrated by a man named Stephen Cartwright, and he is one of the things that Usborne is very well known for because in the books that he illustrated, he put a little yellow duck that you can see right here on the cover on every page of the stories that he illustrated. So you can see this one is a touchy-feely book, but the lovely thing about this one is that it also has these flaps for kids to enjoy too, and these flaps are so sturdy and durable you could uh, carry the book around by them even, or a young child could. But I love them because they are showing kids um, all sorts of fun things, uh, visual discrimination, trying to find that yellow duck, and uh, the, just the coordination to, with the flaps and stuff, but also early counting. Um, there's two pigs here and we're trying to find Curly the pig and he's right there underneath the flaps. So now you add one more and there's three pigs. So wonderful, engaging story to really work on with your toddlers. And a complete book of Farmyard Tales. Um, this is one of my very favorites in, illustrated by Stephen Cartwright. You can see this is a very well-loved version um, that my children enjoyed. And the reason I show this to you is to remind me to tell you we have a 50% lifetime replacements policy. So if anything ever happens to a book that you get from a, a consultant, you can replace it for 50% for the lifetime that you own it, whether it was just loved on to death or um, chewed up by a dog or um, destroyed by an artistic child trying to add to the artwork. Anything like that is totally fine, but the Complete Book of Farm Air Tales, what I love about it is it is a collection of 20 stories that are all about Poppy and Sam and their parents and the host of characters that all live on Apple Tree Farm. You can see that there's words on the top and words on the bottom. This is called a dual level reader. And if you read just the top line of each text, it's a paraphrased version of the story. So if you need to get in a quick bedtime story or your children are having a low attention span moment, perfect way to read the story to them. Top and the bottom of each page is the full version of the story. And then as your children develop into early readers, they can read this text at the top that's a first grade reading level and second to third grade reading levels across the bottom. So you can go back and forth and read it with them or they can develop into a reading the full version of the stories by themselves. There's a CD with this one that hosts the full read-along uh, version with sound effects and everything with it. 
My favorite series of books that we have right now, though, for my kids is the um, Illustrated Stories and Classics series. Love this series because of the longevity um, that my children enjoy it for. My daughter has enjoyed these books for six years now, and she's still going strong. She has a whole shelf of them up in her room and loves to still get them as presents and give them as gifts for um, uh, birthday presents and stuff like that, too. But what I love about them, uh, we have them in all sorts of varieties. There's everything from Aesop's Fables to Grimm's Fairy Tales, Hans Christian Andersen, Greek myths, um, classic stories like Secret Garden and um, Little Mermaid and um, Treasure Island, Count of Monte Cristo, but they introduce children to classic literature at a young age to pique their curiosity and, and create that interest and that love for those stories in them. So hopefully down the road they'll want to read the full version of them or at least have that, that treasury of knowledge of just classic literature along the way. You can see in this particular book that the um, illustrations are really bright and engaging for kids to look at. Um, lots of pictures on the pages, a um, little bit of text. These books do increase in difficulty. They go all the way up through fourth grade reading level um, with just really great classic stories being told. So love these for kids. Now one thing that Usborne is really well known for is our nonfiction books. And the beginner series is a wonderful um, illustration of why that is so. This is Poisonous Animals, one of our newest ones. And you can see that they're um, a little bit thinner books, hardcover though, $5, great deal. Um, but the illustrations in these and the photographs are just stunning. Really bright and colorful. And you can see that the text on the pages is just chunked right there next to um, the picture. So it really ties in multi-sensory learning for kids. The picture just really cements the information for them. The back of each book has a um, glossary of the new terms and concepts introduced and it's internet link too. So great way to introduce children to over 40 nonfiction topics. Um, we also have amazing and incredible um, encyclopedias. We have younger versions for children like the children's encyclopedia and um, some older versions for adults or even young adults, middle schoolers that save so much time. I love our encyclopedias because they really truly have saved countless hours for us on middle school research papers and projects and um, trips to the library saved us a ton of those um, because it has so much information organized in such a really a logical fashion inside the book. This one is the Science Encyclopedia. Um, you can see the text is more complex, but still lots of illustrations in it. There's um, different examples and experiments throughout the book, and this is a great example of a book that's internet linked. All of our nonfiction reference types books down to as young as those beginner books I showed you are all internet linked. So if you go to the website and uh, put in the keyword for the book and look for the cover type, uh, the cover picture, and just click on that and say you want to learn more about sound online. You'd enter in the page number, and it would pull up about four to five websites with more information or um, video clips or tours that you can take, experiments that you can do, um, just further explanation to really reinforce the learning that you're doing in the book too. So love the time saving with that and the high text or the high picture to text ratio in those books. Our activity books are also really popular. An example of those would be our wipe clean books. These come in a variety of different subjects, everything from alphabet to learning times tables. Our newest one is this farm animals one. You can see it comes with a wipe clean marker and a tip that I have for you would be when you, if you get a book, one of these wipe clean books is just to cut the uh, front cover um, the top of the holder for the pen off so you have a little pocket there to stick the marker right back in when you're done doing the book. But all the pages in the book have a nice wipe clean surface and kids can write on the book, wipe it off and do the activity again. So in this one you would draw um, a gate for the cows to escape and trace the lines there. And then you're going to finish the two flowers or write an X under the rabbit who's the odd one out. Join the dots to finish the tractor and the trailer. And each cow needs five black patches. Can you fill in the missing ones? So tons of great activities throughout there for kids to do where they're learning and having a great fun time all at once. 
We have activity books for older kids too, and even adults, if you want to consider yourself to be a kid. Drawing, doodling, coloring. Love this book as a great um, option to use for birthday party gifts to really encourage that creativity and imagination for kids. But you can see throughout this book that there's all sorts of things to color and doodle, pictures to finish and fill in. So much fun and endless hours of coloring and entertainment and creativity for kids. Um, there's dozens of coloring options to choose from too. That's just one example. So we are Usborne Books and More, and the and more part is our Kane Miller collection of books. Usborne Books are amazing for engaging and really filling in the mind for kids, and Kane Miller Books does a terrific job. They're award-winning um, books from around the world. They do a wonderful job really enriching a child's heart. So they have um, amazing books that are excellent for just having fun for kids like these pack, um, picture books, Gobble Gobble Moo Tractor Book or Boom Ba, excellent examples of books that we have that are just fun to read and uh, really start acting out and engaging in even almost a physical way with the story and having fun with it. But they also have amazing books like um, Here in the Garden and Jonathan James and the What If Monster and The Boy on the Page. These are amazing, wonderful picture books that really um, give you a chance to um, engage with the story and uh, maybe learn a new skill or talk through a thing. Jonathan James and the What If Monster, great book for talking through worries and concerns that children have. Um, here in the Garden, great book for talking through um, loss and love that children experience and might go through. Boy on the Page, wonderful book for talking through, you know, what our purpose is in life and what we can do to make the most of our lives. So little introduction to the books. I hope that you will join me in the party on the party wall and watch the rest of the videos. Looking forward to hanging out with you and um, welcome to the world of Usborne Books and More.